sorry that you're tilted, but um, I started vlogging yesterday. I don't think I like started it and ended it very well, so I'm kind of doing like a yesterday, this is what I did, but telling you now and then showing you footage from yesterday. I hope that makes sense. My weekends are super precious lately because I don't have any time to even like take off horrible nail polish. I don't even have time to really cook dinner. And that's because I'm not really used to having a super fixed schedule. There, there's no ability to like change anything. It's like from seven o'clock in the morning until four o'clock p.m. I'm booked. And then it's like, I wanna make sure I'm in bed by like nine o'clock so that I can wake up at five and or 4.50, just depending on how many times I press snooze. So that's that. But I decided yesterday <clears throat> to just clean because during the week I throw everything around and I don't clean my dishes. And um, you know, on, on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I'm like, oh, this is fine. And then by Friday, I'm like, holy crap, uh, my house is a mess, so I need to do some cleaning. So usually Fridays I try to clean, um, but I ended up just getting, I ended up just getting lazy. And then on Saturdays, I'm like, let's do it. Let's wake up early. Let's finish it. I slept in Saturday, which was actually really nice, but I still had time to clean. Um, so I'll show you some of that footage right now. So I'm just putting this, um, guest day bed together but i just gotta screw it together and then put on this back piece may i ask you what you're having so much fun with are you playing with my lipstick anything that rolls and is on the ground is definitely his toy they haven't really met you very much mm -hmm. we kind of just said we found it what's on your nose hey what's on your nose come here did you scratch yourself? Yes, why you always scratch yourself? I know you guys saw butter like, butter, butters like once or twice. Look at his tail, just straight up there. But yeah, we ended up keeping him, or I ended up keeping him. Nobody, nobody claimed him. So I need a mattress and some real pillows. I already have the pillowcases that came with this bed set, but this is what it looks like so far. I kind of just put mismatched pillows. I need it on this wall because it actually won't fit anywhere else. <laughs> and then the heater is definitely going to be a problem. But this room will only be open and in use when there's guests. So I can pull it this way just a little bit. So I'll have that much room. But I mean, realistically, maybe I'll just put a space heater in here. I can find a cute one. This is the aftermath. This is what I have to clean up. What you doing, Mama? What you doing, you sweet girl? Oh, that brightness though. I'm not a fall person, but I'm trying to get into the mood. So we've got that. Uh, Maddie, my best friend, she made this and gave it to me, which is really cool. I think I'm gonna try to find a different frame just cause I know she loves that frame and is gonna probably want it back. Uh, Maddie and I also redid my fireplace mantle. And I think we're gonna be doing a little more work because um, it's just going to be a pain to have my TV mounted up there and have all these wires. I mean, there's so many wires. So I think I'm going to find a way to, um, bind them and we're going to take, well, I would like to take a piece kind of like this, put it over here. Um, we would just drill a piece of wood like we did with this. We would drill a piece of wood into the wall. Then we could drill this into that piece of wood going that way. And then, um... We could kind of close it off with another piece of wood drilling that way. I don't know if that makes any sense, but if we do it, I'll show you guys how we do it. And then I can kind of run the cords from there all the way up down in here. I'll need to close that off because um, exposed wires just isn't really a good thing. Have them run and then I can create something that hides the wires going up that way. And then all of these thingies can sit up here even though I intended for them to sit up there but what I'm just going to do instead is get two more shelves to go over there and then that way it's just decorative um and I also was going to stain this but so this is the color I was going to stain it but I just really like this wood Okay, I also got a new couch. There's some decorative pillows. Um, I don't really know how much you guys have seen. I made this, there was a candle on top. This needs more sticks. So today, 
I'm gonna sort of take care of all of this and this. Doing laundry right now. You guys also know I've been student teaching, so I've kind of just been looking for more ways to organize. What the heck? Is that cat food? Come on, guys. I gotta sweep anyway. I just threw it on the floor. Um, so you guys, I've been looking for lots of ways to be organized, so um, this helps me figure out not what I'm doing every day, but what I'm doing every day in class. Um, because I kind of get anxiety about not knowing what's going on, and I know day to day, but I'm trying to ask um, the teacher that I am working with, just kind of like, okay, what what's your plan for this week? And so we've been doing it that way. Um, and that worked out really well yesterday, so that's why I got that last night. I got this eraser and pencil sharpener. I didn't really get it for the pencil sharpener. It's just a bonus. I actually got it for the eraser because I've been doing a lot of um, draw everything out in pencil and then outline in marker and then erase your pencil marks. So just wanted a big one. Then I got these two pens, which are really cute. And I'm always using pens instead of pencils when it comes to like taking notes and whatnot. So I got these. Um, I got these sticky notes because I have big, like, pink ones. Uh, they're just plain. But I really wanted some smaller ones because they honestly are just so much easier to flag when you're reading. Um, the books, the textbooks that the students are using, it's just easier for me to flip through and, um, help with the lesson that's going on for the day. And then also it helps me, like, with themes and stuff like that. So if students are stuck on a question, I can kind of look back to what I was thinking at the time and they can... I can ask them questions based on what I remembered from the text, if that makes sense, to kind of get their brains ticking. Then I got these bigger ones because I also have been doing a lot of uh, don't forget to email the counselors or don't forget to tell the students to put their chairs up at the end of the day. And I've been putting it on the front of my notebook so that at the end of the day when I close my notebook, I have all these stickies and I look at it and I say, okay, what am I missing? Can I go home? <laughs> so that's what I got. And then I just got another car freshener. Um, because I actually got a new car. And a Twix. Don't judge me. It was a hard night. But it's unopened. So, like I said, don't judge me. Now I gotta clean all of this up. Let's see. I'm trying to get into the mood. Hello, Autumn. Hello, Lacey. I also need to clean my room. It's worse than this, but I'm only gonna show you this. <laughs> this is the choice you've decided to make. Butters. It just feels so good to clean and just have everything be nice. <sighs> Cat fur free. This is like one of my favorite plants. I love it. Those will grow out of my yard until I just stuck them in one of those. <sighs> it just is like a breath of fresh air. Vacuum the floors. This is just like an eyesore over here. Some of you probably are like, you're crazy, it looks fine. What are you talking about? <laughs> Do you guys wanna hear something really adorable? There's a bunny in my yard. And it's been in my yard for about a week. Maybe a little over a week, but it's so cute. And this morning, um, a, a squirrel was chasing the bunny around my shed. There's a, There's so many birds in my yard right now. And they're all like diving on my roof and I can hear them. It's like Snow White. Remember when I told you guys I was a fairy princess? I wasn't kidding. If you're wondering what's on my lips, I use the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in Transylvania. Might be a little patchy, but I don't mind. I'm looking at like six birds right now. Do my hair. So Maddie's coming over and we're gonna be doing some um, DIY stuff. My hair is just looking kind of crazy today. <laughs> We're going to do some DIY fall stuff, so I'm really excited about it. Um, between my shirt and my hair, my face is like white. Lately, I haven't had any time to do my hair at all, which has forced me to wear my hair curly for like the whole week. And I used to do it, I used to redo my hair every four, four days or so. I have been able to leave my hair curly for a whole week and in my opinion that's pretty impressive i'm just using the curls blueberry bliss in case i get any questions okay that's that's a good height sometimes my um ponytail gets so high and i so i just can't get out of that 
habit and it's hard to like bring it back down. I was able to clean everything <laughs> but my room. Um, I am rolling the rug up because Maddie brings her dogs over and they just love this rug and it's white so I just roll it up and uh, same with the one in my bathroom so that's just easier and they also like this so I'm showing you with my foot they also like this so they um, just go on it and like rub against it and I don't care if they do that side because Ain't nobody seeing that side. But I also wanted to show you my bathroom because I kind of like did some new stuff to it. I don't know if the light is better. Let's tap it off. And I'll put all these away. But look at these. How cute are these? And then I put these two over here. These used to be on the shelves above my toilet. And I got this. And I have a smaller one. It's shorter and a little bit fatter. Um, that I'm gonna put lotion in, but it's in the dishwasher right now because I put some Palmer's lotion in it And if you know anything about Palmer's lotion, it doesn't pump out and you also can't get it out of here So and then above here was those um, Brown shells, but everything in here is white and bright and it just didn't match so I made this and I hand sawed every <laughs> piece of wood that's on here I was sick too. I don't know what happened. Sometimes when I'm sick, I feel so much like crap that I need to feel productive. Um, and then I added this clock in here. Um, and these, that, and these two are probably actually gonna go in my front room, that dark blue room, and be kind of like um, hangers for coats. And I'm just gonna find a silver bar here. The whole reason why it's hard to find a towel rack here is because they're usually about um, 18 to 24 inches and I think that that's just too small for right here because I tried to measure. I could put it right here, but that's kind of an annoying place to have a towel. And then I just put up here as my shower cap and there's my towels and some extra toilet paper since this is now uh, unoccupied by a human. And then down here is just so... Oh my crap. <laughs> Hi. So I just gave you some house updates too, just what's going on. Um, I also had a new a roof installed. So I said that kind of weird. <laughs> um, so that took away from a lot of my filming time. And then after that, I started student teaching right away and so it was really hard I'm breaking out which you can see but it was really hard for me to find a time to film anything Maddie and I also my best friend Maddie who I didn't really introduce you to she's been in um, a vlog like that it was like a, gr a day trip or a girls day I don't know something like that kind of vlog and she came over last night and we did some DIY stuff so yeah and we spent like three hours at Hobby Lobby, Goodwill, and we also went to like Starbucks and did the whole thing. Okay, so Maddie and I are doing some DIY stuff and she found these empty vases from, which are kind of hard to see, from where? Uh, St. Vincent de Paul. St. Vincent de Paul, which is a thrift store over here. Maddie found these at Goodwill, so I'm gonna paint these because we're trying to get into like, the, well, I'm trying to get into the fall spirit because it's hard for me to get into the fall spirit. And then um, some gold, like metallic paint, paint brushes. Um, we already have had tape. And th these are Maddie's jars, which are super cute. This one's huge, like in comparison to the body, pretty large. <laughs> and then this glass kind of like takes the cake for a candle. For a candle, it's not focused. This is Jack Daniels. Super cute. She also found these ones earlier. And that. Don't mind the cat food. So the dogs don't eat it. <laughs> <laughs> and then these were 20 cents at Goodwill. And they just say, what do they even say on them? It's not focusing. Bonnie Mam Mammon? Bonnie Mammon? I don't know. But they'll be cute for fall, fall candles, so I got three of them. There's also this collection of fall stuff that you'll see how that goes together. And then I just got this stuff to go right over there. In that empty wall. Is that comfy? Is this so comfy? <laughs>
let's get started. Let's do it. I gotta put the music back on though. Doing it well. Oh gosh, this song is so old. Um, do you have water? Do I have what? Well, because almond glue is like water based, so we can mix it with water, so it's easier to spread out with a paintbrush for the glitter. Oh, so we just need like a bucket. Not a bucket, but like a piece of Tupperware to like, I might have something like that. Sorry, mom, I'm gonna use your old Tupperware. Forgive me. So I got one white pumpkin. Maddie's working on, can't really see it, but the gold paint. Is it splotchy? Mm-hmm. Just because it's on glass, that's all right. Once it dries and there's a little bit of a texture on there, then the second coat will go. We'll be fine. Solid, yeah. All right, and then we're doing, we're using this gold glitter too that Maddie says she's had forever and it's like hardly any of it's gone. So I'm assuming a little goes a long way. Mm -hmm. So this is how they're drying. They're kind of drying um, like whitewashed instead of um, like opaque white, which I actually think I like better. So I'm gonna take the gold once this dries and do gold down the seams in one of them. Um, the other one, I think I'm just gonna do gold dots, and then I'm not sure about the third. Okay, finished painting oh. these. What? What? Sorry. No, it's okay. I thought you were gonna do the vases out here. Oh, I see. And then these vases, we put this brown paper inside, just to keep it, you know, pretty fall. Finished product. Anyway, I'm gonna go get ready and then I'm gonna film and then I'm gonna run some errands. I need to go to Ulta because I'm running out of my foundation. Uh, excuse me, computer. You're like my main source of light right now. Can you get it together? While I have you here, I just wanna talk about the amount of Urban Decay foundations that I have. <laughs> I started off with Naked Skin Urban Decay um, in the shade 4.0, which it, I love. Then I started getting tons and tons of comments about my skin looking super light, just on my face and nowhere else on my body, and I didn't really know how to fix that. So then I got another one in the shade 7.0, and I mixed those two together, and I used more of this 7.0 than I did of this 4.0, and I feel like these oxidized just a little bit. So sometimes in person, my face was really dark, and then my body was lighter, but the opposite was shown on camera. So that was incredibly frustrating and I still don't really know what to do about it because we're still we're still dealing with it because I have a hair stuck to my ear from my gel because I don't really have time to like experiment with makeup right now. I just kind of have time to stick with what I know. But I did experiment with the Urban Decay All Nighter Waterproof Long Wear Liquid Foundation and I got the shade 6.0. Just a heads up, if you're shopping Urban Decay uh, like foundations, the 0.5s the half sizes are pink undertones and the whole numbers, so 6.0, 7.0, 4.0, those are the yellow undertones. So that should help you a little bit. Um, I tried, a girl was trying to help me like actually find my shade and she just kept picking pink after pink after pink and I was like, that's literally pink. Like salmon pink. No. Anyway, this foundation, this all-nighter one is so wrong. It is so wrong. It oxidizes so much. It sits into any lines you have. Right now, I'm having a real big issue with my laugh lines. Um, I've always had a problem with them, but lately they've been horrible. And with this, it's just like, I can't. Just abort. It's horrible. It doesn't spread very easily. It's really thick. So it's full coverage, almost. And if you feel like you put on, like, you know, you put on one with your, this is my imaginary makeup sponge, put on one layer and you look at it and you analyze it for like two seconds and it's already setting and you want to put do another pump and put on another one, too late. You've already lost the game. You're done. It's ugly. It starts picking it back up. Um, so the foundation is kind of like eating itself and then the consistency is gross and it's just like... I will never buy that again. I'm still 
I'm trying to use it guys, but like I used it again yesterday and I just asked myself, why Lacey? Why did you use this again? You know, you know. Anyway, I'm gonna do my makeup film and then uh, I have a serious neck cramp from doing my hair. Diffusing at awkward angles. Anyway, um, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye.